Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Axiom Verge. We're at the doorway to what could possibly be progress, but I have a sneaking suspicion that this is not progress. This is just a little optional area to get a nice little optional upgrade, which, was that a speed tech that I just did? That was actually pretty nice. I like that tech. I'm gonna have to remember that. Um, will I remember that? Ah, that's a good question. Uh, and it looks like my sneaking suspicion was correct. It's just a health node fragment. Not a particularly difficult one to grab, but we do get a full health node out of it, which is a pretty nice bonus. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with uh, all of this explored and out of the way... Let's... Let's go explore the next area for more stuff. I know what you're thinking. What about that place from last episode where you need Trace to teleport through the wall? I haven't forgotten. We'll get there. But look, we're playing in hard mode. Uh, some things need to be taken a little bit more slowly. You need to you need to power up before you can f flower up. And I know in Mario that's the same thing. Flowering up is the same as powering up. In fact, it's one of the most powerful power-ups that you could possibly get in the history of the Mario. However, that does not diminish the things that I say. Um, yeah, let's go explore over here. There's so many of these like little spots that are begging for my attention. You just surprised the crap out of me, my dude. Up here. Yeah, we can totally make this with the grapple grapple tech. Yeah. Man, these guys are rude. Okay, power node fragment, but there's something weird about this. Oh. Got death glitch here. Um, not gonna be able to do anything about that anytime soon. Let's get out of here, man. That was a short-lived detour. There's a good spot to the right that we can still explore as well. And some nice spots to the left. Got plenty of things to, to figure out. Yeah, you don't even do anything. Oh my gosh. I had a harder time with him than I should have. Okay, why didn't I explore over here before? What was stopping me? Just a normal glitch wall? We got this. Nothing secret here. Okay. Um, huh. Where? I have a. I, I think that this is going to take us to the fast travel station. Hello! Dude, if I can, like, if I could finish these off, I'd be a really, really happy man. Ah! <laughs> Come on, it's not that difficult. Uh, he just jumped over me. Wait, another one? Oh, wait, are, are we on the other side of Glitch Room? Wow. <clears throat> Completely unexpected to find two of these in the same room. Actually, it was three of them in the same room. There might even be another one inside that little glitch hole. Which would be pretty nice. 
if and when we come back to claim it. Anyway, back down we go. We're going to hit the bottom of this room. Just so we can hit the save point. No, I don't think that's wise. Let's, uh, let's go all the way back to the left, the way we came from. And then we'll, uh, we'll hit the save point, and then we'll drop down to the bottom. I think that's a good plan. Like, I know he dropped health. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm a pro gamer, I don't need it. See these moves? What you know about these moves? See, we call that a damage boost. <laughs> Up, 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 up. Besides, we have to explore the save room anyway. Look at how high we couldn't jump before. I mean, look at this. It's ridiculous. Uh, not even, not super sure how, uh... What future jump tech we're gonna get. Like, some of the power-ups I've completely forgotten about. It's been a long time since I've played this game. This is a really good path. Hold up, I see you. What? What? I'm not getting a password for that one. Um. Huh. I think this was a glitch wall. No, it was just straight up. Straight up, I couldn't do anything here. Oh! Wait a minute, you can tear down there too? There's our power node fragment. I am now a very happy man. Um, all right, nothing special over here. There is something here, though. Like, right there. Okay, maybe not. It's a lie. Okay. I thought maybe it was going to be like a secret little room transition. That would have been pretty neat. But alas, no such luck. Here's our little drill spot that we found before. I love the little walking sound that the drone makes. Dude, there's more stuff down there if I could teleport through the ground. you're gonna find, drone boy. Conversation with A3. Who are you? I am Talal. What are you doing here? Udug Hol. What does Udug Hol mean? Unintelligible. What does it look like? Unintelligible. Is Talal an Udug Hol? No. What is Talal? Unintelligible. What happened to a Thetos? I am a Thetos. But you just said you are Talal? No response. How can you be a Thetos if you are Talal? I am Talal. Who do you think I am? A Thetos. Why did you attack me? No response. You remember attacking me? Talal attack demon. Um. Confusion. Yes, I am confused. I, uh... 
Yeah, I don't know what any of that was supposed to mean, dude. Ow. Are all the... What is with this place? Why are there so many little glitched bubbles? I'm... Ah, uh, I don't get it. Maybe I just... Oh, there's so many there too. This whole ground is messed up. clear a path. Is this gonna break anything? Are you gonna break something? You have the power now. I grant you the powers. Where are you going, bro? I'll come back! Alright, I got him. Um... I need to trap these guys in. If I hope for their help. Are they just not going to do anything anymore? Like, that one's trapped in a loop. This one's not touching anything that's important anymore. And I think it's like this spot. I think it's this spot that would allow me to go in. But I think this guy's trapped... ...in a perpetual angle that's unhelpful to me. If I, if I hit him again with the glitch, I can't unglitch him. I was hoping that unglitching him and re-glitching him would affect his trajectory, but that does not seem to be the case. I'm just going to have to travel a couple rooms over. And... Reset this. I wonder if it's just... Man, I wonder if it's just a case of me being unlucky or having turned them in a bad spot. Turn that back on. Don't allow them to escape. No, I think it's the same no matter what. Oh, I'm an idiot. I could teleport through there. Now we're thinking with the abilities that we've had literally pretty much the entire game. Yeah! <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes. Alright. What is this? Range node? Yeah, range node. Uh, well, that was a lot of work for a range node. Let's go back. No, 
that was a lot of, you know, self-confusion for a range node. Let's be real. So they bounce at exactly the pattern they need to. No more, no less. It's positively well designed. I'm just a fool. Um, and with that, we could either move on to the very right side, or we can finally go back to where we came from to visit the opposite side of Death Tree Land, and I think that's what we're going to do. Death Tree Land, here we come. It's been a long time coming. It's been a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. It's been a little bit... A little bit trying. I'll, I'll admit that I, uh, there were some times when I thought that this day would never come. But now, with as capable as I am, your time is short. The day of reckoning is at hand. And after I save, we'll be coming for you. Believe you me, I'll be coming for you. There we go. Okay, so... I know there were a few power-ups left. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one power-up we'll end up getting, I believe, is the ability to phase through floors and ceilings? And I believe another power-up we'll be getting is the ability to, like, blink. And by blink, I mean, like, uh, quick teleport in whatever direction we so choose. Which is going to be very, very nice. Another power-up we'll be getting is the ability to swap places with our drone. Maybe not swap places, but teleport to where our drone is. That's going to unlock a lot of capability for us. We're going to be able to just like fly around the environment just by popping, teleporting, popping, teleporting, popping, teleporting. That's going to be pretty neato. All right, Death Tree Land, what do you got for us? Hopefully a save point right here. What is this thing? I guess only its eye is vulnerable. Is it a platform? This is not a save point. This is a one-way gate. No, thank you. It is a platform. Uh, okay. Hold up. What happens... If I do this. Oh, you become tall. And do you become vulnerable? Do not glitch him again. No, you just become slow. Ow. Hey, can I drill you? I can. Ah, oh, crap. How do I get this? I guess we're gonna find out later. <laughs> wow, what a terrible noise. Alright, let's go, one-way gate. Think I'm scared of a one-way gate? You're right. Uh... The hell? Elsa Nova! Did you see that? Sorry, no. What did you see? There was a man who looked just like me standing over there, then he ran away. Very strange. I did not see this. I'm going after him. Keep your eyes open, or whatever it is you do.
that was just about as weird as uh, whenever you find uh, your doppelganger in Hollow Knight. Wow, there's two exits to this room? That's new. God, if I remember correctly, this place is a freaking trip. Okay, he's up there, which means I want to go to the right. I took a lot of damage there, too. What's over to the right? Probably a dead end. Yeah, totally. So what's with the uh, mystery me? If I remember correctly, like, this is the place where my character just starts straight up tripping balls. Hey, you! Stop! Trace, there is nothing. He was right there. Trace, I think you must find Ophelia soon. Please tell me if you see more strange things. Uh, you mean that totally unironically, am I right? Alright, yeah, yeah, this is the drug zone. Everything's starting to get wavy and gross. <sighs> it's pretty hot in this place. Oh, God. I forgot about these guys as well. Ugh. Like, these guys are an absolute nightmare to fight. They take so many hits. I'm glad I got that damage boost when I did. I cannot go through there. Oof. Alright. Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Ah, <sighs> Elsa Nova. Something's wrong. I don't feel well. I was afraid of this. Athetos' pathogen is starting to affect you. But I think Ophelia is near. She can fix. Just try to keep calm. Thanks, Athetos. Ah, I mean, Elsa Nova. Sorry, I, I think I'll just shut up and keep moving. Alright. Is it just mirrors the music tripping up too? Tripping up, tripping out. I, like, I don't know the correct terminology. Do I look like a guy who does drugs? <laughs> Wait, these walls are dancing? Uh... Well, it's about time. Oh, sorry, are you Ophelia? There's no such thing as Ophelia. If there isn't, how did you even know what I was talking about? You know the answer to that. Because you're a hallucination, right? And pathogen is making me see things? Crap, I'd better get moving. Dancing wall skulls, great. Alright. Ah, you got stuck, dummy. Oh, thanks for the health. Oh, there's another wall face. A couple more. I was just seeing how they dance with the beat. Um. Oh, okay. Not a fan of you. Dude, the health. Oh, it's so good. It'd be a little awkward for the story if I died right here. <laughs> so let's try not to do that. Yeah. 
just slowly but surely take out these things that are a threat to my health. God dang it. Let's go. I thought that was a wall. Like, there's all these door-looking spots that look like they're doors, but they ain't doors. Uh, do I want to kill you? You know, there was a chance that he would have dropped health. Could have been very nice. Um. Um. Let me out. Oh. Give me up! Oh my god. Okay, I just wanted to see what would happen. I didn't think it would be so horrifying. Yeah. I can't even see those, dude. I mean, I can now, but. See you later, jerk off. Oh. Please drop health. You don't know how much I need it right now. Uh... Got one of those drone things. Those flying drone jerks. They're gonna they're gonna come out of nowhere and just absolutely wreck me. I can feel it now. Okay, 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 okay. Just don't let him get a little handsy. Let's go to the other side. I really need the help. Oh. Nothing. Drats. Oh, boss to the left. Health to the right. Oh, baby. Ah, oh, made it by the skin of our hair. That's right. No more beeping. Why am I on this one? Crap, I'm trapped! Trace, please just stay put. I have made contact with Ophelia. Elsa Nova, that man from before, he's here! Demon. Wait, I'm no demon. A am I? Demon Atheto say kill. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, I am controlling the boss now. I have, uh, I can shoot double guns with the X button, and with the Y button, I can shoot little landmines. Is my goal here to die? Because I was doing no damage to him. Yeah. Here comes the drone to save the character. That boss would have been a hard time if I uh, had to fight him myself. <sighs> Where am I? Safe. This is the trauma ward. Everything hurts. How bad is it? This may be hard to accept, but your injuries were severe. You will neither walk nor see ever again. I remember now. Well, I'd assumed this was all connected to the lab explosion. In fact, that was just an unrelated accident. A frozen pressure valve, of all things. 
Boom. How could I have forgotten? I had survived the blast and awoken. And for months I was locked in darkness. I was broken. Not just blind, but crippled. But as I lay there helpless, thinking, I had an epiphany. An idea that would become a scientific breakthrough. I worked with Dr. Hammond, who had recovered completely. Together we published a new theory of everything. It was a rewriting of physics. The media got wind and loved it. But the physics community decried it as pseudoscience. I was blacklisted and given a nickname. Athetos. Without place. That's where the memories end. Over a year of my life completely forgotten. And somehow, I'm him. Athetos. Elsa Nova knows this, but she thinks that I don't. So I'm still... here. I've cleared out the bioflux. Your nanogates should take care of the rest. Trace, this is Ophelia. It is she who brought you to Sudra. Okay, Ophelia, why exactly would you do that? Several reasons, but mainly because you, like Athetos, are a pattern mind. It means only you could survive Athetos' pathogen. It also makes you the only person capable of using Athetos' weapons, like that gun. In short, you're the only chance we had to defeat him. So, what makes Athetos and I pattern minds? Something we were born with, or something that happened? To be honest, we don't know. Within the Breach, there are many worlds. Athetos came from one, so that's where we started. I entered the breach where I learned about pattern minds, special individuals who can manipulate reality at will. Using a special device called a scry, we searched for another pattern mind that could stop him. We found only you on your world, Earth, and extracted you. We know for sure that you are a pattern mind, but not why. We were hoping you could tell us that. Uh, nope, I'm pretty normal, and I'm fairly confident there's no secret magic going on in my DNA or anything. Are you sure you're not leaving something out? <clears throat> we are sure. Regardless, you are doing well. Breach Attractor and Athetos are in elevator above us. Destroy it, and we can take care of rest. But getting inside may take some time yet. And then? You are done. We send you back home. Okay, looks like I'm off to see the wizard then. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of me. Because, 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 it's all an... Because of me. Alright, is this a save point? That's not a save point, yo. This better be a save point right here. Yeah! Alright, with this, it's gonna be it for this episode. We learned a lot today. Um, got a, yet another boss fight, and we are right above that extra power-up that we saw before. So, Athetos is above here. Excuse me, Athetos is above here, um, but I won't be able to climb all the way up. So next time, we're going to be, I guess, climbing down and out of here, and then, uh, doing more exploration or something. I don't remember. But we're going to figure it out. I'll see you there. Uh, bye bye.